Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to bend time to your will within After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and here I have a new composition 1280 by 720p and I have some footage and I'm just going to take and drag that down to my timeline. And this is some more footage from my trip to Los Angeles. You can see we're just kind of passing by. We're in a cab and we're going past some buildings so I just shot some footage of that. So what we're going to be doing today in uh, affecting time is we're going to be showing you how to take and reverse time so basically reversing the clip so the clip would look like this except moving forward and also how to take and slow down and speed up time so we're going to be starting first with reversing the time so the way we do this is by right clicking on your clip here down in your timeline right click go to time and then go down to time reverse layer and so basically it's really simple that's pretty much the effect you can see now that as I move forward the clip is moving in reverse so it's a pretty simple effect um, but if you don't know how to get to it then it could be uh, more troublesome so basically um, that's that so we can do undo that and now I'm going to show you how to speed up and slow down time so if we take and right click and go to time and then there's two ways to do this you can go to time stretch or you can go to en enable time remapping now time stretch um, I would not prefer this way basically the way this works is you can either select um, a stretch factor or or a new time um, or a new length of the clip. Now the stretch factor is basically 100%, so at 100% the clip is moving at normal speed. So if you want it to move at half speed, you would put in 50%, and if you wanted to, it to move at double the speed, you'd put in 200%, and then accordingly off of that. So if we want it to be half speed, 50, hit OK, and you can see now that it's half the speed, or half the, um, the like uh, distance that it was, half the length. So um, we can undo that and I'm going to be showing you now the time remapping and I would definitely prefer this way. Mainly it works in a similar way. There's two keyframes. There's one at the beginning and one at the end. So when you put time remapping on it will automatically add those keyframes. So basically what you can do is take the end keyframe and move it in say halfway. And that did the exact same thing as time stretch. Now the reason I would prefer this over time stretch is because um, if you want to make an adjustment, you have to go back into time stretch um, and adjust the clip again and hit OK. And here you just take and drag it and you're good to go to see exactly what you're doing. So you can see that by moving this keyframe closer um, to the beginning one, we can really speed up the clip there. You can see that those cars are going lightning fast now. So this also works in the reverse way. You can take and drag this. I'm just going to take and drag it kind of off off the stage um, there. And basically you can see that once you have them farther apart, you can really start to slow down uh, your time. Now, when you do slow motion effects, um, it's best to shoot your footage in 60 frames a second uh, at least. And a lot of cameras these days, um, a lot of the higher end cameras especially, will have an option to set your camera to 60 frames a second. And if you're going to be shooting um, slow motion footage, then you should probably do that. I wouldn't recommend it for normal footage just because it'll take up more room. Um, but for slow motion stuff, it gives you um, more frames to work with. Now, I shot this in 30 frames a second, so when we actually slow it down, it's not quite as clear as it would be if we did it in 60 frames a second. This isn't particularly too bad, um, but some things when you do it in 30 frames a second and slow it down, uh, or even 24 frames a second, um, it starts to get really choppy. Now there is a way you can fix this in After Effects. For this um, particular clip, it doesn't work very well, um, but you can take and click on this little button here, which enables uh, frame blending for the entire uh, composition. So you can click on that, and then basically you can hit F4 in order to bring up more options for your actual layers. And you'll also want to enable frame blending uh, for the particular clip, and then click it twice so that you have that straight line. And now you can see that it kind of um, blends the frames together um, as we move along in slow motion but it starts to get kind of jagged if you go along here you can see that our cars kind of get a little whacked out but if we actually turn that off it turns out better for this particular clip and you might also want to turn on like motion blur um, but you basically just need to make your own judgment on that uh, sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't but basically what the frame blending does is when you go from 30 frames to 60 frames um, say that we doubled the length of the clip um, it doesn't have 60 frames, so it has to kind of invent the frame. So by using the flame, or by using the frame blending, uh, it usually will actually smooth it out a little bit better. But since we have this motion blur on the cars, it doesn't work as well for this one. But I just wanted to mention it because in a lot of cases, it will make it much better. 
Um, so the last thing that I wanted to mention, I'm just going to hit F4 again to shorten that back up, um, is that we can actually take, and I'm just going to get back to where we actually have this keyframe, and you may have actually seen this effect um, on YouTube or in movies. Basically, a lot of times we'll be uh, you'll be watching something and they'll have the footage moving really quick and then it'll slow down and it'll almost have like a basically to isolate something like say that we wanted this tree to be isolated it'll like slow down while it's there and then after it's off the screen then it'll start speeding back up and then say we wanted to see this car here it would slow down again and so you can basically use it to isolate certain things like especially in fight scenes if there's a person getting punched and it's a really big hit you want to slow down for that but the rest of the fights faster um, then you can use this. So basically what we want to do, let's say we want these, you see this little grove of palm trees here, let's say that we want to kind of isolate that, we can take and basically um, get to the beginning there, click on the little keyframe symbol over here on the left, and then once we get off of the palm trees, we'll get to where there's like the last one there, we'll hit another keyframe. And so basically the slow motion is going to happen in between these two keyframes. So what we want to do is take and spread them out in order to get more slow motion. So the more spread out you have them, uh, the more slow motion you're going to get. So now if we take and play it, you can see that it's a lot quicker on this beginning part. So we're getting like the fast speed, and then it gets the palm trees, and it just slows down. So it's really bringing attention to that specific area. And then once it gets to um, our next keyframe, it's going to go back into fast motion. Now normally you wouldn't have it that long, um, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of exactly what was happening. So I kind of lengthened it more than you would actually have it. Um, but that gives you um, a pretty good effect that you can use in your videos. Um, so I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial in how to bend time uh, in After Effects. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.